Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're exploring the life and legacy of adult film icon Ginger Lin, from her rise to fame to her transition into mainstream entertainment and advocacy for industry workers. Ginger Lin, born Ginger Lin Allen, is an iconic figure in the adult film industry, whose career spans over three decades. She emerged as a leading performer during the 1980s, often referred to as the golden age of porn, and quickly established herself as a household name. With her captivating on-screen presence and natural acting abilities, she helped redefine the genre and paved the way for future performers. Her impact on the adult film industry cannot be understated, as she played a significant role in the evolution of adult entertainment from a taboo underground scene to a more accepted and mainstream form of expression. As a trailblazer, Ginger Lin transcended the limitations of her profession and ventured into mainstream acting and other media demonstrating the potential for a more diverse career path for adult film stars. Understanding Ginger Lin's career and influence is crucial to appreciating the development of the adult film industry and the broader discourse around sexuality and erotic entertainment. Her journey through the industry and her ability to navigate personal and professional challenges provide valuable insights into the complexities of a career in adult films and the need for advocacy, acceptance, and support for those working in the industry. Ginger Lynn was born on December 14, 1962, in Rockford, Illinois, as Ginger Lynn Allen. She had a relatively normal upbringing, growing up in a close-knit family with her mother and younger siblings. Ginger faced challenges in her childhood, including her parents' divorce and the subsequent financial struggles. Despite these hardships, she maintained a strong bond with her family, which helped shape her resilient and determined character. Ginger's entry into adult entertainment began in the early 1980s when she moved to California to pursue a career in modeling. A chance encounter with an adult magazine led her to explore opportunities in the adult film industry. She started out as a nude model and soon after made her debut in adult films at the age of 20. Her natural charisma, stunning looks, and fearless performances quickly captured the attention of both industry insiders and audiences alike. During her early years in the industry, Ginger Lynn starred in several highly successful adult films, such as New Wave Hookers, Taboo and I, and The Grafenberg Spot. Her prolific work and on-screen chemistry with leading male performers of the time, like John Holmes and Peter North, solidified her status as one of the industry's top stars. In a short span of time, Ginger became a defining figure of the golden age of porn, earning numerous awards and accolades for her performances. Her early success paved the way for her long-lasting and influential career in adult entertainment, making her a true icon in the industry. During the 1980s, the adult film industry experienced a surge in popularity, largely due to the widespread availability of VHS tapes and the increasing social acceptance of adult entertainment. This period, known as the golden age of porn, witnessed high production values, compelling narratives, and talented performers which helped to legitimize the industry and foster a loyal fan base. Ginger Lynn's peak in the industry coincided with this golden age, and her career significantly contributed to the era's reputation. The adult film landscape during her prime was characterized by memorable films, iconic performers, and innovative production companies that pushed the boundaries of erotic storytelling. Throughout her career, Ginger Lynn collaborated with a number of notable co-stars, both male and female, who helped to shape the adult film industry during its golden age. Some of her most memorable partnerships include John Holmes. Known as one of the most prolific male adult film stars, John Holmes starred alongside Ginger Lynn in several films, including the classic Electric Blue 28. Peter North. As another legendary male performer, Peter North shared the screen with Ginger Lynn in numerous films, such as Swedish Erotica 57. Tracy Lords, a controversial figure in the industry, Tracy Lords worked with Ginger Lynn in films like Those Young Girls and Sister Dearest, solidifying their status as two of the most popular female stars of the era. Tom Byron With a long and successful career in adult films, Tom Byron was another frequent co-star of Ginger Lynn's, appearing together in films like Kinky Business and Trashy Lady. These collaborations showcased Ginger Lynn's versatility and talent as a performer, and her on-screen chemistry with these industry icons played a significant role in the success of the films in which they starred. As a result, Ginger Lynn's presence and work during the golden age of porn had a significant impact on the adult film industry and its evolution. 
Ginger Lynn's career was marked by numerous memorable films and scenes that not only defined her as an adult film actress, but also contributed to the broader landscape of the industry during the golden age of porn. Some of the key films and scenes that defined her career include New Wave Hookers, 1985. Directed by Gregory Dark, this film featured Ginger Lynn in a non-sexual role as one of the New Wave Hookers. Her performance showcased her acting abilities and helped establish her as a versatile talent within the industry. Project Ginger, 1985. This film was the first in a series of popular adult films featuring Ginger Lynn. Her enthusiastic performances and sensual on-screen presence in this movie solidified her status as one of the top stars of the 1980s. Trashy Lady, 1985. Set in the 1920s, Ginger Lynn played the role of a gangster's girlfriend who transforms into a glamorous high-class escort. Her performance in this film further demonstrated her range as an actress and her ability to captivate audiences. The Grafenberg Spot, 1985. This film was one of the first adult movies to explore the concept of the G-Spot. Ginger Lynn's performance in the film contributed to its groundbreaking nature and added to the film's enduring popularity. Ten Little Maidens, 1985. An adult film parody of Agatha Christie's and There Were None, this movie showcased Ginger Lynn's comedic timing and her ability to engage in various genres within the adult film industry. Kinky Business, 1984. Co-starring Tom Byron, this film is a parody of the popular mainstream movie Risky Business. Ginger Lynn's portrayal of the sultry, fun-loving character in this film demonstrated her adeptness at blending eroticism and humor. These key films and scenes not only defined Ginger Lynn's career but also played a significant role in shaping the adult film industry during its golden age. Her performances in these films continued to be celebrated as some of the most iconic moments in the history of adult cinema. Like many individuals in the adult film industry, Ginger Lynn faced numerous challenges both professionally and personally. Her rapid rise to fame the nature of her work placed her under significant public scrutiny and pressure, leading to strained relationships and personal struggles. Ginger Lynn's lasting legacy is multifaceted, as she has left an indelible mark on both the adult and mainstream entertainment industries. In the adult film world, her groundbreaking performances and iconic status during the golden age of porn continue to be celebrated and revered by fans and industry professionals alike. Her successful transition to mainstream entertainment has also inspired other adult film performers to explore opportunities beyond the adult industry. Moreover, her advocacy for industry workers, mental health, and sexual freedom has helped to create a more inclusive and understanding environment for those involved in adult entertainment. As a trailblazer and a symbol of resilience, Ginger Lynn's impact on the adult film industry and the broader cultural landscape will undoubtedly be remembered and celebrated for years to come.